job one Friday night in May. If I had the money, I'd pay you. If you don't like cops, that would be my deal. If I had the money to pay you for the night and they'd give you a car, I just want to ride in the back and watch. Because you are going to get shamefully mistreated, brother. People in Macon, a lot of them bad ones, they don't care if you got a patch on your chest or not. You don't get no more respect. You might get less respect than one humane. They lie to shoot you quicker than one humane kind of man. Just because you got one. No, you didn't lock up their friend, but you're on that team. No, they've never seen you before. No, they don't know you've got four young kids and a young woman. They don't know none of that. But they'll shoot you. The, it, it mentions in this verse and in another verse that the, the, uh, the, the decree of the holy watchers, and a lot of times there, there'll be a conjunction like and, and then it'll come in and say the holy ones. It did that twice in this. There's several places in the Bible where It'll have a, a, a noun, and then it'll have a conjunction, and then it'll have another noun. And I had a, I had an example. Uh, it was in uh, uh, Titus uh, verse two, chapter. I'm sorry, chapter two, verse thirteen, where the great God and Jesus Christ are mentioned like that. It says the great God and the, the, the uh, Jesus Christ is the same thing. It's just using two nouns instead of one to describe the same thing. So you get a double effect is what is what the and there's a name for it. There's a uh, Henda H-E-N-D-I-A-D-Y-S So if you like to write that might be something that you want to play with and use in your writing just to just to throw people off a little bit and get them thinking if they're not thinking. Um, but it's the same thing. And basically, this would be the angels who come down and talk to people in the New Testament. Who come talk to Mary. Who come talk to Joseph. Who sent that message. Who sent that message to, the, uh, to Abraham. Hey, we're about to go over here and tear this city out of the front. see these rulers coming and, and this before I got saved this was a big question in my mind how can people like this rise to such power man and be how did Hitler go from being a corporal in the army he never got past corporal one rank higher than me and I was in there for two years and I didn't want to get promoted I told him I'm Your promotions to somebody that's going to stay. I don't want that little extra money. I got to go to school and get treated like a dog for a month and then come back here and get treated like a dog for a month and then make a couple extra bucks. It ain't worth it to me. Give it to somebody else.
Church is here now. We're in the age of grace. We're good. Most of those same uh, uh, popes don't believe that Jesus is coming back. They think the church is the kingdom. They think the Roman Catholic Church is the kingdom, not the Baptist Church, brother. Uh, we will be frowned upon. The King James Bible is frowned upon in that church. They don't take the King James. No, sir. A lot of Catholics do. A lot of Catholics believe that the King James Bible is say that in church. That priest is going, huh? I know that's judgment. Let me talk to you in the back a little bit. <laughs> you got your theology mixed up a little there, brother. And believe me, they'll straighten you out. Or they'll try to. I might get a hold of, with one, of one of them now with the information that I've been given in the last couple of years. Uh, some One of us would learn something. One of us would be very enlightened. could lead men in the battle for just the worst possible greed, man, I just because I want it. I want to expand my border. Y'all are too close. I'm going to push you back a little bit. I'm going to move my fence over, Brother James, in your field by halfway. You don't mind, do you? I need this to clear it out land. man would do it and look at you and, and act like he's doing your favor. Probably tell you I could have killed you and took it off. Yeah, I'd be happy. Well, come on, I sure did him a favor, didn't I? And then he'd walk to church that Sunday and beat his chest. He'd prepare for it. Thank you, Lord, for all this I give to the church. And I kept. try to look at everything we touch. Cheap as nothing. Now, I'm going to work on this Bible, but I promise you in two or three years, I'm going to have pages coming out of it. And this is a good Bible. I pay good money for this one. This one right here will have pages coming out of it because I guarantee the American person that printed it wanted it to pair up. How come, uh, y'all remember when they used to hand down Bibles? Don't see a lot of them old, you know, I should be getting right now my great, 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 great grandmama's Bible. All right, that's a long time. I can understand it not making it that far, but how about the great, great grandma? What happened to that? It got put to the side because pages was missing. It got put to the side because it was coming apart. Everything we touch is like that. It's because we are under some of the basis of men on this planet. We wonder why they pass laws like they do in this country. Look at who's running the country. Y'all ever watch C-SPAN? I challenge you. Watch C-SPAN one night when they're taking a vote. And look at those people's faces. You will know them by their fruit. You will know this country by what you see in that room. Tells me that one right there. Been drinking since.
standing there taking a vote. All right, you got other ones that claim to be um, different sexes. We have one up there wearing a dress, and he was a man. And those kind of people are making the decisions for us. That man don't even know what his gender is. Something every kindergarten age kid knows, unless somebody messed with him. He don't even know that. You gonna trust? I wouldn't trust a man like that to run my lemonade stand selling five cent glass lemonade out in front of my house. <laughs> Would you? You gonna go broke? You ain't gonna make no money. This guy don't know what. If there's a dress and a pair of pants, he don't know what to put on. He could be there all day. How do I feel? You should have grew up in my neighborhood. I would have told him how you feel. Brother, you put that on and you're going to have one more long, hard day. Go ahead. I dare you. <laughs> I want to sit behind you too. I ain't no, not me. I just want to sit behind you. I just want to hear what, what they say. So that's why we got what we got right there. And do you think God, the, the Old Testament explains very well why God lets this happen? Oh, we could get we could get Solomon's, we could get David's, we could get next to perfect, we could get almost the best men out there. And we have, there have been some of them, I'm not saying they're all bad. Lord knows if they were, we'd be in a bigger mess than we are now. He sent some good ones in there to keep them kind of reined in. There's a few in there. see it in the newspaper, what you see on the news, that we do to each other. That's why we got this good faith people up there. So the good people, just like in the Old Testament, when God wiped them out and sent somebody in there to, to take, take them captive, hey brother, the good people went to slaves in slavery too. They got killed too. The people sitting in the church, they got killed too. God was in charge. Everybody can look at that and go, man, that's such a terrible thing. How the hell, why would God, uh, you mean uh, they were living in a world like this and God let them come home? And you see that as a bad thing? Now, now I know where the problem's at, brother. I see it as a good thing. God called me out of this mess. Where am I going to be? I'm going to be in glory. It ain't going to be better than that. People think I'm crazy because I want him to come back. All right? I'm going to be better off. My mama, my wife, my youngins, everybody I know in my church, my friends, my family, everybody that's saved is going to be better off. We're going to be in a better place. We're not going to have no problem. And we're going to have all the ones that we ain't got now. All the ones that's left. That ain't better. That ain't better. None of us aching, hurting, ill, tired. Those who never grow old. <sighs> it's worth loving Jesus for just for that, man. You go into a place you never grow old. And that's a bad thing. No. No, it ain't. If something happened to my family and it didn't happen to me, good thing for them, bad thing for me. But it's going to make my good thing better because I'm going to get a reunion boy one day. And the ones we love when we get there, that's what's going to make it so special. I can't wait. I wish he'd have come back yesterday. Hope he comes back today. Tomorrow would be okay. <laughs> Last Sunday, been back. I ain't got nothing to say about y'all. He done been back. He done been back. I can't call him and make him come. I don't think we gotta wait long, though. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. And I pray that uh, uh, I, I, I heard a quote, and I'll share this with you in my close. Uh, a man said that uh, the question isn't. Jesus comes back, the question will be, are you in the race? Are you even in the race? Because if you ain't in the race, bro, he ain't going to know you. But if he knows you, boy, you look at glory. Mm -hmm. Christian can't lose, no matter about these base men. They can't beat me down and throw me in the fire. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. 
keep asking. 